begin our 10th and final segment back in Michigan, far southwest Michigan, just over the Indiana border. An area known for sugar sand beaches and sweeping sand dunes. At the Warren Dune State Park, the dunes invite ambitious climbers, and evening sunsets are always spectacular. In fact, all up the southwest Michigan coast are beach communities, each one unique, each one anchored by broad, clean swimming beaches that put anything in California to shame. The beach towns are right on the shore with trendy shops and restaurants just a couple blocks east of the lake. Southwest Michigan and the lakeshore is also known for its vineyards. Acre after acre, so many, there's even a shoreline wine trail that draws fans from across the country. The Southwest Michigan Coastline Wine Trail has 15 wineries that produce some of the best grapes and wines anywhere. But in the town of Coloma, not far from Lake Michigan's coastline, is a place that is the absolute best, voted number one, the best chocolatier in America. The Chocolate Garden is its name, and after the Food Network discovered it, the world is clamoring for its concoctions. What's amazing is that this is really a technology story of sorts. The owner started this as an online operation only. She says solid internet connectivity has been a key to her success. Oh, it's critical. It's absolutely critical. I mean, not only do we do a big part of our business on the internet, um, we are on Facebook uh, and we get a lot of um, interaction on Facebook. So being on the internet, that is how we got our start. Who's your internet provider? We have a few, Verizon being one of them. Yeah? Yeah, and we you... have, to, being an internet business, we have to have redundancy. And Verizon is actually our more stable um, connection. So we do a lot of it with our Verizon Air Card, as a matter of fact. Your first one's gonna be your dark chocolate, then your salted dark, and then the dark chocolate raspberry last three. There's a chocolate tasting bar here. You can sample before you buy. I love my job. Oh boy, when Jennifer saw that, she decided she wanted in on the goodies. Mm, Mike, I think I want your job. And so, after three weeks of travel, our shoreline tour of the five Great Lakes comes to an end. In all, we drove 4,000 miles and visited eight different states. We invite you to follow in our tire tracks. There's lots of great places waiting for you to discover in the Great Lakes. On the road for Verizon and Pure Michigan, I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching.